The black and white video shows how large a typical sneeze cloud can be. Those are droplets of mucus and saliva flying through the air, some contaminated with viruses and bacteria. On the flu season battlefield, everyone around you is a potential enemy, firing their germs like ballistic missiles. We set out to answer once and for all, how can you best stop your sneezes? and not get everyone around you sick. When someone sneezes, the largest droplets typically settle about three to six feet from the sneezer. But smaller ones can travel up to 26 feet and linger in the air for several minutes. Together an animation so shoppers can be aware of the dangers of spreading the killer disease. Someone infected by the virus can cough and walk away, but then leave behind extremely small aerosol particles carrying the virus. Round one. Marcus plays the rude guy, <laughs> sneezing without blocking at all. Look at that die. We found a small part of it landing almost 11 feet away. <laughs> oh, it looks horrible, doesn't it? I look like a vampire. Ah. Adam's face is a picture, but it's the canvas that tells the real story. I see spots up to eight feet away, dude. Round two. Elora covers her mouth with her hands. <laughs> Just like mom always said. She can't block it all, and some of it landed three and a half feet away. And look at all of that on Ilara's hands. Disgusting. So I'd say single hand, not so good. Yeah, not so good. Not so good. And then some. Even with his hand directly in front of the oncoming sneeze, Adam can't begin to contain the explosion. That newer move we've been advised to use. <gasps> the Dracula sneeze into your elbow. Better, but look how much is still getting through. Parts of that sneeze landed eight and a half feet away. Three sneezes later, and the results are very impressive. Yeah, I see only two droplets and one on your shoe, and let's look at your elbow here. That's totally localized to you, man. And interestingly, some people have more elastic saliva. Their sneezes can travel even farther, making them so-called super spreaders. It's all on my arm and not on my hand, so I'm not as likely to spread it around. Yeah, it's doubly effective. Hands down, the elbow is a highly effective technique, with virtually the entire sneeze contained on each of Jamie's sneezes. If you're spreading germ sneezing, even when covering your mouth and sneezing into your elbow, is there anything you can do? <laughs> Grab a tissue, believe it or not. With Marcus sneezing right into the tissue, we found nothing getting through. Nothing. I see a tiny, 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 tiny dot of blue there. At first, it seems like the hanky may be victorious. Until I see some on the hanky. Believe it or not, with Marcus sneezing right into the tissue, we found nothing getting through. Nothing. I traded both sides and perhaps most damningly. It's on my hands, ready to spread to the next person whose hand I shake. He seeped through the hanky, contaminating Adam's hand, making it a pretty poor technique. The airflow patterns on an airplane actually help spread the sneeze around. Researchers say mapping this sneeze cloud will help them create environments that reduce the spread of illness. In the meantime, grab a tissue and keep your sneeze cloud to yourself. Imagine, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you, you sneeze in it all day long, you keep on putting it in your pocket, pulling it back out, giving people change from your pocket, handing them your pen, handing them your phone, talking on your phone, spreading germs, yeah. Those that droplets cap spread more than six feet behind you while you are walking, running or cycling. Running side by side with someone may actually be safer than running behind them so you don't directly come into contact with any droplets. This vividly illustrates why covering your coughs and sneezes is so important. Go for your elbow and not your hands. So there you go and there you have it. It seems like the best and only way to actually stop a cough or a sneeze is by grabbing a really thick towel and coughing into that and then getting rid of it. Not keeping it because it's going to get covered and then you're going to be spreading the germs. You don't really want to cough or sneeze into your hands. You don't want to do the shoulder thing. The only other thing that I could suggest is what I told you guys before is by doing the, the shirt thing is by covering up your nose and your mouth. 
<laughs> and then uh, coughing or sneezing in, in there. Yeah, sure, you're going to get all your germs inside, but it's going to stay inside, hopefully, and not really spread around. There's not much you can really do at this point, but to prevent any of the spreading of any disease or sickness, just stay at home. But if you do have to go out and you do seem like if you have an irritation, if you're not sick and you do have to cough or sneeze, um, it's just better to cover your, your face with a, a towel or, like I said, <laughs> with your shirt that's just my my own opinion and my own thoughts on this so hopefully this video was very educational because i know when i watched all these different videos i was like wow some of those things i didn't know and that's good to know so i thought i'd share that with all of you and if you can share that with your friends and family and everybody so they get uh they learn as well let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below can you please click that like button as well as click that subscribe button it helps me out a lot and i really truly do appreciate it so thanks for watching everyone hope you all learned something stay safe stay inside god bless you all and peace out and if you're gonna cough or sneeze <laughs> Cover your face or just stay at home. Snoochie booches.